One of the big advantages to using Microsoft CRM integrated with the Darwin Business System is the ability to customize data within the system. You can display data however you want and you can track additional items that might not be native to the system. So if you, for example, say we're taking a look at a list of employees. These are employees that are contained in your back office. These are employees you're currently running payroll for, tracking information about. But you might have some custom requests to track certain things about something like, say, drug tests or something like that. And you decide you'd rather create your own new screen within the system to be able to track those things, report on them, run workflows off of them, dashboard off of all those different things. Well, the customization in CRM is so easy to do that even end users can quickly create these types of screens without much work, without having to know a lot about how to, how to create relationships and databases. So the goal of this demonstration would be to show you actually how to create a brand new screen off the existing employee records. And this screen will track random data. In this case, I'll just use drug testing as the example. But you can track extra data, extra screens, create many hundreds and thousands of screens off the existing and data without having to have a bunch of technical skills. So, like I said, we'll use the employees as the example. These are the employees that I'm currently running payroll for in my back office. If I take a look at the back office system and I open up my list of employees right here, those are the same employees that actually exist out there in my CRM records. So I have the ability to come in and extend that data. So, to actually create new items in the system, I'm going to go into my customization area. So I'm going to go into settings, customizations, and customize the system. And this will show me the whole core customization area within the system itself. So what I'm actually going to be creating is what's something called an entity, a brand new entity. And all an entity is is a table of information. So employees are entities, clients are entities, paychecks are entities, etc. So when I come into the system, I can see a list of existing entities and I can create a brand new entity within the system by clicking the new button. So by clicking entity here, then it gives me a, basically an entity definition screen where I can create, in this case, I'm gonna create a new screen that's just about drug testing. So I'll leave this information the same. I'm not gonna make the name required. I'll, I'll make that no constraint. And then I go ahead and create the entity definition. So I'm just going to call it drug test and then drug tests will be the plural name and then give it a brief description. In this case, I'll just copy and paste the name of the entity there and then I'll display it in my workplace area so I can see a list of all drug tests across all employees in one spot also. So once I've done that and I click the save button, what the system is actually doing behind the scenes, it's creating a table for this has some standard fields that all tables have like created on date, modified on date, etc. But what it's really creating for me is kind of a blank form or palette where I can go ahead and just paste on any fields I want to track about drug tests. And then the real power of this is it makes it, it very easy for me to link this to the employee records. So any and all employees that have drug tests, I'll be able to link it directly to those employees, create those drug test records right off of an employee screen, etc. And I can run workflows, create dashboards, create reports, anything else I need to do um, in relation to uh, you know, reporting on drug tests, making sure notification goes out to clients and employees about drug testings, all those different types of things. So the table's been created. And if I go into my form section here, I'll south see there's a main form already created for me and also a mobile form if I decide to expose this um, to mobile clients. But we'll just concentrate on the main form right now. So by double clicking and opening this up, it gives me kind of a blank palette to work with. And this is where I can create my own fields in the system. Now usually what I like to do whenever I create a brand new entity in the system, these, thing, these are called tabs. General notes are the two standard tabs in the system. I like to create a third tab and kind of store these administrative fields in that third tab so I really have a blank palette to work with. So you simply do that by clicking the insert tab up here and then you insert a tab into the system by clicking the one column tab button and then I can come in, I can double click it and rename this. So I'm going to call it admin and just copy and paste that into the label also. Oops, I still had that in my buffer. There we go. Call it admin and now it's admin tab. And I'm just going to move these fields down here 
so they don't they kind of just don't take up much space. And these created on and modified on fields are great fields, but we don't need to see them on all the time, so I'll leave them down here in the admin section. And then I'll actually have, by double clicking the white space there, I can get to the properties again. And I'm not going to expand this by default. So when this is completed, that'll actually be collapsed, so it takes up less space. And then it's just simply a process of creating your fields and putting them in the general tab. We'll just leave the general tab here. That's, that's good enough. So it's simply by, by clicking this new field button, we get to create our fields on the fly. So the first field we're going to create is actually a lookup field. And what this lookup field is, this is how you link the drug test to the employee. You can simply come in and say, okay, I'm going to name this field employee. And simply by tabbing through and accepting the default, it's very quick to get through these things. The type of field this is going to be is a lookup. And so this is actually creating a, a relationship in the relational database behind the scenes. But for a user, it's just a lookup field. So my target, in this sense, is going to be employee. So I look up employees to associate with this record. Or if I look at an employee, I'd see all drug tests they've taken. That'll make more sense once we're done here. So when I finish my first field, I can save it. I can save and close and put it on the screen. Or I can click Save and New and create new fields on the fly. So since we're creating a bunch of fields, I'll just go ahead and click Save and New and create my next field. So you go through and create a few fields like this. And the creating field um, screen always takes a few seconds. It's actually creating a, um, it's actually modifying the database and adding fields to it. So we'll, we'll say you know, test date. And as opposed to being a lookup this time, this field is going to be a date field. We'll leave it at date only. We don't need date and time for something like this. So we'll go ahead and save and new. Um, we'll put in some information like the drug test cost. Drug test cost and we'll call that a currency field obviously and save a new and then we'll even create a um, a results drop down so we can actually have some different choices that will be will always be from a drop down list so we'll call it drug test results drill through we can choose what's called an option set same thing as a drop down list and then we can create this option set on the fly. So we can say something like you know, past, failed, requires retest, retest, fail. Whatever, whatever items you'd like to put in there. And those can be modified sort of however you want. And you can have a default value or leave it blank if you want to leave it until they actually the results come in in this case. And finally, we'll simply have a, a, a kind of a simple description or comments field, just a text field to add to this. And, and we'll keep it simple. We'll keep those, those fields there. So uh, we'll put this called comments. And we'll put in a multiple lines of text field so it'll look kind of like this field does here and, and put it right in the middle of the drug test. So you get the idea, you can add as many fields as you want. You can add hundreds of fields to any of these screens if you want to. But once we're done creating our fields, we simply click Save and Close. And now we'll have access to really just drag and drop those fields anywhere you want on this new form that we've created. And this form will, of course, be related to the employee. So when we take a look at this, I'm just going to flip this filter to show only custom fields, the fields that we've just created on the fly here. And we just want to put them on the field however we want. So I'm going to put the employee link here. I'm going to put the test date here, the cost here, the results here, and I'll put the comments right below that. Now I want the comments to take up a little bit more space. So any of these different fields, you can actually double click and click the formatting tab and decide how much space you want this to take up. We'll have two columns and we'll have a display in four rows. And so it'll take up this much space here in the system. So we've created our, our, our brand new entity. We've already linked it to the employee. Once we publish this, this is ready to go. So to actually get it published and propagated out to the system, you simply click Save and Close, created the form itself, and then you click the Publish button that's right here. So by clicking Publish, it's now creating this form in the system itself. Once this is published and done, 
anybody that goes into Outlook from this point on uh, and uses CRM in their Outlook or uses CRM through the web page like I'm doing here, they'll actually see drug tests as a sub area underneath employees and they'll also see a standard list of all drug tests in the system. And now you can use your other CRM schools, skills like, like I said, creating views, dashboards, workflows, reports, uh, exporting to Excel, alerts out to your clients when employees have taken, failed, or, or missed drug tests, all, those audit, all the automation that CRM provides. So now let's go back into CRM itself. And whenever you make a change, if you happen to be logged into CRM at the time, you just want to refresh the screen. If you're, if you're out of CRM, once you log back in, it'll, it'll automatically be refreshed. But we can see right there, there are our drug tests. So that'd be a list of all drug tests. Of course, right now there are none. And we haven't really changed any views yet. But if I go to my, my employees, my employee list here, and let's go to employees, and I can either import this information, or if I choose an employee, I choose this, this, this person named Jeff right here, and I look at his sub area of the system, we'll be able to see actually right here, there's the drug test added as we just created. So if I wanted to add a drug test to this employee, I just simply click this new add new drug test button. The add button is always in the upper left hand corner just like your new email button is. And here it is. This is the form we just created a few minutes ago. So now I can put in the information in here. The, the test date was on January 7th. The cost was $150. The results were he passed. Any comments? and it automatically even has the diary style notes available. So all the common functions you expect out of CRM are done. So in the course of just a few minutes, I've actually created a basic screen with any data I want and tied it to that employee. So from now on, whenever I want to go back into this, this employee, their drug test instance will be right here. So there can be multiple instances per employee and I'll be able to look at that master list of drug tests at any time. So there's a lot more you can do with the customization, a lot of further steps you can take with it, a lot more different types of fields and links and things like that. But this is how easy it is to create areas for custom data within their system. Well, but it doesn't take technical skills, and a reasonably tra trained user can do something like this in just a matter of a few minutes. Thank you for your time.